Hello and welcome back to another video. Yes, I thought in my last few videos I mentioned that I've been a bit busy. I apologise for the lack of videos recently. It's been raining, then it went sunny for two days, so I went out and did a bit, I made a few um, um, motorbike videos of editing those currently. So, what happened was last weekend um, we thought. We'd done like uh, two um, roof tiles and we thought, you know what, we haven't got anything to do today, it needs to be done. While the weather's fairly um, bearable and, it's, and, and obviously conservatives that are not um, as hot when the weather's a bit shit, uh, we decided let's, um, let's blast out the um, conservatory roof and then when the heat comes back it's bearable, we can see if it actually does work, it's vinyl. Because basically I spoke to my friend and um, I said, what is the cheapest way to stop a conservatory getting so damn hot in the summer? So I apologize for the um, the laundry or the drying clothes, they are all clean, I'm not showing you dirty rags, but uh, you know, all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna basically show you it and just tell you how we did it, what we did, show you that you don't have to have or be a professional to install vinyl. We watched a few videos and with the right tools, vinyl on, on the roofs or on windows with fairly easy amount of time, just a bit of precision, a bit of um, patience, but also get things right fast. So let's just show you this all and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already down below. Like I said in my last videos, um, I'm a freelancer, which means government has left us behind all however many million of us so I'm just trying to make videos for you guys to grow my channel and I've been doing things for my to try and bring my my clothing brand which I've mentioned as well uh, LGI clothing check that out on Instagram to basically show basically get out and do it don't just hesitate just get out and do it you can do it if you want to push yourself it might hurt but just push yourself grind through it, motivation, think of what you, how you'll feel afterwards, amazing. So let's get to it, let's get it. Those conservatories get very, very hot in the summer and when the sun comes down, unbearable sometimes. If it was raining, you'd hear all the uh, the rain hitting the hitting the, um, the, uh, the roof and it's just horrible. So while it's like this, we thought let's just do it. And this um, roof isn't as easy as as you expect, so we did make a few bad choices, but we got this vinyl um, for about ten pounds for two meters for yeah, two meter strip, and we needed eight of them. This is uh, basically what we've done. Um, all this here, all this, that, all this here like that, all that. It's really hard when you get up when you're doing all that bit up there, and especially when you're doing it around around there it's very hard to get around there and around there it's not too hard around the edges there because if you get the, the straight edge there and the, and the straight edge along there and then obviously you cut it along the edge the straight oh, these two are the first ones we did so we made a bit of errors there and there but you know you have to, you have to learn it's practice mate it's perfect and we got better throughout the times you know we got really good at it. So we started off with these on here, but all in all, it's pretty damn good for a DIY. We've got a little bubble there, but you know, for the first two lots, it's not too bad. And what we, what, what we did find out was that um, when you've got to do the edges, the corner bits of the roof, you get an off cut. And I was like, well, how would you put this on? Well, when you do that one there, and you cut this bit here, you have to do that one there, not that one. Not that one, that one. Because, obviously, you're cutting it down there, and that would obviously be that one. Because you've cut that, slide it off, and you put it on there, and then when you do that, and that one is for the off cut of this one, basically, and vice versa there. That one there is off cut is that one, and that one there is off cut of that one. So it's fairly easy once you know how to do it. Um, so basically what you do is you measure it as you do. What we did, we, did, we, made, we measured the width of the widest window, which the widest windows are these here, which was, I think it was like 72, I think they were. 
So we added um, six. We got we added seventy six um, centimeters wide by two meters, and some of them, like they are one hundred and fifty fifty two. I think or one hundred fifty four centimeters. Um, so we did quite. We added, so we ordered eight lots of two hundred centimeters or two thousand millimeters or whatever that is in inches by a, by a seventy six. And the, the, the wise one was 72 centimetres, it was perfect, so we had 4 centimetres, which is about so, so much on either side, which is perfect for us. What you do is basically, you have to clean all the windows with with um, soapy water, spray it, clean it properly. So I even I cleaned the um, UPVC as well while I was at it beforehand, because you're going to do a job, make sure it looks clean and nice. And then what we did was, um, he says to clean, to spray the to spray the the window. We had to use a lot of water because it does dry very fast. What we did was, we uh, we did the first one, did the second one, and we tried it. And we sprayed loads of water, and it looked worked out really really well. And then uh, we thought mint. So then since we had the off cut, we had a little one there after we did that one because obviously off cut don't want to waste fine enough. It costs. So we did that, and then uh, we did that one there. And then the other corner over there. And as you can see, because we hadn't done it for a week, it's got a couple of minor bubbles. And there we got it really well. Over there, all oh, there we got it really well. There we got it really well. There we got it fairly well, to be honest. And there we got it fairly well. Really, really well. I'm very impressed with that. Um, the cool thing actually about this, about these, these, this vinyl thing is, is it's, it's obviously chrome as you can see it in the, um, in the when when the sun's not hitting it and it's dark, but when the, uh, when the sun hits it, it actually goes blue, which is really nice. You get a nice like a blue sky type effect. You can't see through it when it's, when it's like dull like today and when it's raining and or dark, it's just nice and chrome. So it's kind of a nice little feature. And also, I think when the light hits it up there as well, extra bright in the room in the night time, which is even better, so you can see more. Um, so basically, what you do is you the, you get a piece of tele-tape or masking tape, to want, and you uh, you basically press both sides onto it, and then you with the masking tape you peel it away, and the clear protected film um, peels off. Then we we took about a foot, we we peeled back about a foot. And then sprayed it. Well, I grabbed it, stood on the, stood on this table here, because that was perfect perfect for us to get up there and to reach the roof. And then actually the girlfriend and pulled it pulled it all back, um, all off, and then sprayed it even more, drenched the whole stickiness. Um, and then she sprayed the root the um, each roof panel, and then uh, I had her do the bottom bit so push it in because she's only five foot four or five six and I'm five five eleven maybe six depending um she she held that then I pushed it up and then we got the um like a normal window um squeegee squeeze it all out to get the middle bit and then to get the edges bits you, we got um like a like we, I got a window tinting kit basically you get this credit card thing for squeegeeing out along the edge of the windows as I said. You get this which has a, um, a blade in there which basically helps you cut the vinyl but she wasn't happy with that so we should use a pair of scissors and we use this which is obviously the sharp um, standing knife. Now we got um, I found a spray bottle under the sink we emptied put some water in it and some um, fair liquid and sprayed it all up. Uh, we got the actual the, the um, credit card size thing and we went a lot all the way along all the way along uh, there and there and all the way down there and all the way up there and then once we cut it then I went along and tried to get all these bubble all the bubbles out but as you can see from the from the it's got all these lines here and all these lines here basically like it's like they go like that so it's like a like a like a mini speed bump type thing and the water even if you squeeze your loads of water out the water actually wants to go back into those air gaps so you've got to squeeze it you've got to push all the, the water out and sometimes it buggers up 
often it did but I got as much out as I could without scraping too hard on the squeegee to rip it because you've got to be careful you can't think oh let's do a half hour job you've got to try and get it done and to be honest none of them actually ripped I think to be honest it actually looks really good we're very impressed with it um, it'll also be good for when we sell the house because they'll be able to say what's it like in the summer but we'll be able to test it we haven't tested it because obviously we finished it and then two weeks of rain has come so we're hoping to um, see how it does when the sun comes back so yeah what tell us what you think um, so what do you think do you, do you like do you like it do you like what we did it shows you what you can do it with a bit of DIY skills a bit of ingenuity not ingenuity a bit of a uh, something up there and um, you look at videos like anything you want to know something, when you google it usually there's a YouTube video about it because all the, every company does vinyl um, window tinting or glass tinting or anything has a video to put on YouTube because it's easy to share with customers to show what they do and to advertise their work definitely a two person job I think um, I'd like to learn how to window tint next so I might try and window tint that or I might take it to be tinted and then actually watch how they do it and ask them if I can see how they do it so I can learn because I'm very intrigued to learn new skills um, but if you like this video um, and you know about you know about it if you think we've done a good job let us know in the comments below if, we, if you think it works if you don't think it works tell us um, like you said, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, give it a th this video a thumbs up, come, plenty more videos to come, motorbike videos, bicycle videos, car videos, I'm going to do a video soon once it stops raining.